the thumbnail of this video isn't clickbait it is something that I've been thinking about for a while now we've known we've been going to Japan for quite a while and kind of had a fairly good idea of when we've been going uh, sometime last year and obviously I want to be in good shape for that and peak for it as the, the lads will be as well and I've been thinking about my training a lot and I haven't really been weightlifting not in the true sense of weightlifting, you know. I am doing some weightlifting, but I am not weightlifting. I haven't been since approximately last August. Uh, to be honest, a little bit before that. So I've been doing some sessions, some snatches and some clean and jerks. And to be real, that's not real weightlifting. I am just practicing the movements. To really do weightlifting and to do weightlifting is for me is to progress and to make improvements on something. And so, if I'm just doing the movements and not really training. And I've been thinking for a while, I'm kind of at a junction, I think, in my training. First of all, my motivation to train is incredibly high. I love what I'm doing. I love jiu-jitsu and I love training for jiu-jitsu. But I thoroughly enjoy gym lifts, training with weights. Weight lifting is something I really enjoy. Now, at the moment... I'm at a junction in my head where I arrive in Japan and I can deadlift 320, I can squat 300, uh, bench maybe 160, I'm 98 kilos, but 12% body fat, jerk, maybe behind the neck jerk, 200, something like that, power clean 170, uh, good conditioning, good jiu jitsu, and closer to my blue belt. The other option is to primarily train weightlifting, minimize jiu-jitsu as I would need to, big snatch, clean and jerk, and then a bigger squat, but not a unit. You know, the, the first option for me is to become more of a fridge than ever. The second option is to be better at weightlifting. Because right now I haven't been doing a lot of weightlifting, I'm not really sure what I want to do. It's it's a lot, and I don't mean to sound preachy, so I want to preface this, but you understand at the moment how hard weightlifting is. I know you do. And it only gets harder. Now, the juice has always been worth the squeeze for me. But at the moment, because I'm so removed from weightlifting, I don't know if the juice is worth the squeeze to do snatch and clean the jerk. What people who do jiu-jitsu would have never done weightlifting to understand is that jiu-jitsu is fun. Uh, weightlifting is not fun. Doing sessions where they're two and a half hours, and it's two and a half hours the way I train. When I'm training weightlifting, it's boom, 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 we're moving through the sets. It's two and a half hours where you're sitting on the toilet before you go training because you're just ready and trying to build yourself up to go training. And Right now, because I'm so far removed from weightlifting, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, do I want to do it again? But it's a whole thing. It's a whole endeavor to commit to. And if I commit to it, I need to be committed. Now, I'll be honest, right now, I'll be fully honest. Right now, just becoming more of a unit seems like a better option in my head. Just a big deadlift, strong, lots of lifting, a bigger squat. Big power clean, still some weightlifting movements, but it's not the snatch and the clean and jerk. There's a whole segment in my head. And I'm more motivated to train than ever. Uh, I love what I'm doing. There's no issue with hard work. It is ultimately what is the right hard work to do. So tonight I'm going to do a snatch and clean and jerk session, just full of snatch and full clean and jerk. And at the end of this video, I'm going to make a decision because more is lost to indecision than the wrong decision. I can progress more in my lifts. I know that I can do more. And for example, Anton agrees with me that this, it is no problem. I can do it, but it is needs the work. I am unsure at this junction, do I want to do that? In my head, I'm totally honest that I really think I prefer just becoming you, just becoming the ultimate fridge. So tonight we're going to do some snatch, some clean and jerk, 
and at the end of the session I'm going to make a decision and I will know I think how I feel. So I've picked two numbers and we'll see how we feel if I get close to those and then if I don't get close to them <laughs> who knows what'll happen. suggestion that within 20 years I regret it and the answer is who knows we can't live uh, with that in mind to do what I want to what would make me happy now who knows when I can't train again or something might happen so I think for me it's the fridging is something that is much more appealing for this training block at least maybe next training block I'll suddenly have a grow to snatch and clean and jerk again but right now is the, the typical way of things snatch and clean and jerk. I just, I just don't think it's, uh, the appeal isn't there right now for me. It's not, it's just missing. But the love of training is still there. So the idea, I have some numbers, some things I want to do with my training that just seems so appealing right now. And I think, you know, if someone said this to me, they were like, you know, will you regret it? Who knows? 
what do you want to do right now and what seems like the thing you really want to do I would say look that's what you should probably do uh, so what I'm thinking right now is keep doing jiu-jitsu of course a big squat a big squat in Japan a big deadlift in Japan just clean deadlift barefoot maybe a belt we'll see I never don't know where belts are heavy deadlifts with straps obviously because uh, I'm not very conventional of course uh, like I said deadlift a big power clean and I think a big behind the net jack are things that are really appealing to me right now so I've not finished the weightlifting movements but I just don't have any interest in that the, the, the idea of that smash clean and jerk maybe it's just because it's been 11 and a half years but when I think of the last six months when I took a break when I think should I have missed it you know and normally when I take those lengthy breaks which I do and I think they're very important for athletes who train to a higher level uh, normally I'm raring to go for now I'm just like oh Whew. normally this is the feeling you have at the end of a training block and that's what you should have at the end of a training block but this isn't the feeling you should have beginning a training block other goals as well of course I talked about is just to become a bit more of a horse uh, better body composition just feeling a bit more of a unit um, and just maximise that as much as possible just because I want to uh, keep conditioning up uh, but the Jiu Jitsu and the bigger strength goals and those kind of power stuff are pretty congruent for me it's important not to get caught up in your identity, you know, you have to continue to improve, to evolve, to do the things that are right for you, you know, if you get caught up in something, you, you can easily get stuck in a situation and you can get stuck somewhere and you end up in this rut and this is kind of proverbial hell almost because you're putting your true self through something that just isn't right for you and I think it's very important when you end up in those situations to change and evolve it's not to say quit when things get tough but be honest to yourself when you're in a situation that is that the right thing for you it's like a job you know it's the idea that you're in a job and you're reasonably good at it so it's not that hard but you hate it and you, it's not right for you you know and that's something uh, decisions I've lived by you know not just talking the talk here it's one of the reasons seek a strength exists is because I was in one of those situations and same with anything else you're doing, maybe it's relationships, a relationship with a snatch between a jerk. Uh, so yeah, here we are. Okay, so it's a few days removed from that training vlog and I just wanted to talk to you one or two things after that. First of all, the main thing I wanted to talk to you about is don't be uninspired by my lack of motivation for that specific style of training. I know sometimes when we watch people and we enjoy seeing them, it can be influential when they do something that is a little bit different than what we bought into what they were doing so you know if you're watching people training and you do the same thing and when I make a different decision I hope it doesn't negatively impact your desire to keep doing your specific thing in training I still have as much mo love and motivation to keep training as possible and uh, this just for this particular block of training I just don't feel like doing snatch and clean and jerk you know it's been 11 and a half years of lifting and I think I just need a bit more of a break uh, I will be doing bits of snatches and bits of full clean and jerks throughout the next training block but uh, as far as progressing them I don't think I will be doing them. Secondary to that I actually am leaving the door open however on that note if in a month's time after a lot of training I suddenly decide that you know what I do want to do snatch and clean and jerk then I will absolutely make that pivot and change towards that and then start training for them and keep going uh, as I desire to do so you know I'm under no pressure in terms of what I want to train for but it's there for me and if I want to then I'll keep going and if in two or three months I'm still very happy with what I'm doing then I'll keep going with that you know so it's not a I'm never going to weightlift again I absolutely will be back for snatching clean and jerking again in the future but just not for this period of time finally uh, for the next while at least until I do return back to full snatch and clean and jerking I'm actually just going to be coaching myself for a while uh, just had a chat with Anton there's a couple of different goals that I have and we'll talk about those in time uh, a lot of them are I'm sure you can guess are squatting deadlifting related power clean and I want to do a big jerk as well potentially from behind the neck and maybe a press or a bench I'll see how my shoulders love the bench press or don't love it so I've a couple of different things that I will be doing and uh, they're just going to be a little bit dynamic but most of all there's things I'm very easily able to program for and I just will actually be running some of the Seeker Strength programs uh, they're 
I started the Road to Anywhere squat program yesterday, which you'll see a video of coming on Friday training vlog. So that was my first training vlog of the new stuff I'll be training for. And you'll see me doing the 4x10s testing little session. And I really enjoyed it. It's such a fun time training. Uh, and it feels really great to have something to train specifically for. So I look forward to that training vlog. When I return to weightlifting, I will absolutely be going back to Anton. Uh, there's no way I would... Uh, go for that full training block on weightlifting because he's so such a valuable resource he's a great coach he's really invested and i trust him intuitively so when i'm back to weightlifting i would absolutely be going back to anton without question so it's not uh, a case of uh, oh i didn't enjoy anton's coaching or he couldn't program the stuff i want to do at the moment it's just that i'm still finalizing some of the stuff and i really want to run some of our own programs uh, for a variety of different reasons uh, and so when I go back to weightlifting absolutely will be going back to Anton as coaching and thankfully he's kept the space for me so if you are looking for coaching uh, and you're thinking about Anton I'd still absolutely highly recommend him so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, I was a little bit apprehensive of putting it up to be honest uh, because while I wouldn't say it's personal it is also still very personal you know and it was a decision that I was struggling with a bit for the last couple of weeks uh, and it obviously means a lot to me because you know essentially I dedicated my life to something especially the best part of my adult years and it's influenced everything from my relationships to my career and so in some ways it kind of felt like a betrayal even though there was nothing to fear you know I'm not leaving anything but it was a big decision for me and going by yesterday's session of the new stuff I want to train uh, I happily feel like I'm on the right route and I feel like I'm doing what I want to do, which is great, you know. And as I said, we'll absolutely be back to full weightlifting again, but uh, in terms of like meaningful progressions, just not right now. We've also had some a little information that there might be another, or there might be a squat off event in the Far East, so I will be preparing heavily for that. So there'll be a couple of iterations of the Road to Anywhere run, most likely to make sure I'm in good shape for that. Uh, so... Hopefully, I'll be in good shape for that. And I think uh, there's some numbers I want to hit in the other lifts as well. So I keep training for those. And I'm excited to be doing those numbers. And on top of that, I want to be in better shape, like I was talking about. Just physically, conditioning-wise, and, uh, you know, aesthetically. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the uh, just the honesty of it. Because that was literally a real-time decision. Or a real-time finalization of a decision that I probably had already made. Just needed to really realize for myself. And I hope you enjoyed the new training vlog something. I'll video at least two sessions a week and put those vlogs up hey, if you guys want to watch them. I know a lot of you who've run the Road to Anywhere Squat program will be looking forward to me running the uh, week four, day two, which is currently something like 180 or something for 3 by 8s uh, But I'll probably bump that up again, so I'll make it tough for myself. So look forward to that. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the new stream of training.